Hey everyone. In this video, we're going to compare motor temperatures on a couple of different fans that I've got here. Now really, fan motor temperature depends on the type of motor the fan is equipped with and the material of the motor housing. Now the Emerson on the left is equipped with a permanent split capacitor motor. This is a very energy efficient design that tends to be pretty cool running. And because the Emerson has a cast iron motor housing, its motor doesn't really feel very hot to the touch at all. The signal cool spot that's over on the right hand side is equipped with a shaded pole motor. These tend to be a hot running design by nature and this is installed in a drawn steel motor housing so it's gonna, you're going to feel that heat if you were to put your hand on this motor. Now I have taken the motor temperature on this before and I've seen it run in excess of 150 degrees. And you might think to yourself, well, that's a bit too hot running for a motor. But really, this motor runs fine. It's running within spec on its motor tag, according to the kilowatt meter. And it runs for days on end. When you take its temperature, you can see it spiked briefly at 139 degrees before it settled on 121. Now, you really would not want to touch this motor, but you can rest assured that it is running fine since it's running within its spec on the motor tag. Now the Emerson's PSC motor, that's going to run a bit cooler to the touch and you're not really going to feel a lot of heat if you put your hand on this motor housing. And you can see it's 93 degrees Fahrenheit, which is below our body temperature. So yeah, the Emerson's going to run quite cool. So fan motor temperature really just depends on the type of motor your fan has. I hope you found this video to be useful, and I do thank you for watching. We will have more to come, so please hit that subscribe button to stay tuned. Later.